previously on Final Fantasy 16. This was my mother's doing. Something on your mind? Monsters. I don't want to be a monster. Clive. Shiva's dominant. I bow to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. I have killed the monster and become an outlaw. I would not have you melt before your slowing moment. No! I found him with his mouth buried in my nuts. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. May we join you? It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Boots. <laughs> Go! Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? <laughs> I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. <laughs> you wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you Britney Bold, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion so and the Poplar Market. 
<laughs> it's managed by the Merchants <laughs> Guild. Just show them Goots's <laughs> Traders Pass and you'll be on your way. I can't focus. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. I can't focus and with them giggling oh, like glad that. Glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, OK, then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Buck, lad. <laughs> get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> So this is the Mechas. A land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. It's pretty. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. <laughs> long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. <laughs> that the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. <laughs> Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Ah, it's your Final Fantasy. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> we're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Mm. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. No! <laughs> it's the little kid. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. That little Guga? How is he building to rule blocks? an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grega made flesh. Mm -hmm. God. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. 
I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? Oh. What nonsense is this? Ooh. I speak Ooh. my mind. And my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Thank you, Annabella. Nature, <laughs> right. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. Yeah! I have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. No. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. Uh. All else is heresy. Don't Sire. bend. Don't bend the knee. Forgive me. Don't bend it. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, oh, not another meeting with silly old men. <laughs> They're so boring. Wait, he's kind of relatable. I <laughs> just. Mm. I'm hungry, no, father. No. Can't we have luncheon instead? Uh, bad child. Ignore. Evil child. Bad child. Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher. Lest your impure blood stain the throne. Oh, what, what is her do you deal? Know of my blood. What is her deal? Oh my God. What a bit. Oh? The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? Oh, good. There you are. Clive, I I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. Oh. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Oh. Do you remember when you last saw me? <laughs> Such a mum. It was in my pocket a minute okay, ago. Calm down. And then a burn bumped into me and... Here. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? I, I know where. I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? Leaves? Oh my god, it does sound like leaves. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. <laughs> it got stolen. <laughs> by little Ben. <laughs> of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Oh my god, it is for you, so... Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you have a moment? What do you want? 
What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. <laughs> What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? <laughs> no, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. I picked a hole in my pocket once. Is that bad too? Listen here, you little shit. Oh god. Excuse me. Clive, let Jill. What do you want? Let Jill. I, I, I don't have any money. Let Jill. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. Good. <laughs> we just want to talk. We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, he said he got a job doing something dangerous. I hate chil you hate children. I don't hate children. I just think that video games somehow manage to make children the most Come annoying on, thing. <laughs> Sometimes they're either annoying, adorable, or scary. The th those are the three. Do you know what kind of child I was? I was all three. Okay, I was all three. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy things. Oh! He wouldn't have noticed. If we robbed his boots off him. Not the little. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the past, though. Not the little goofy voices. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. Don't swear. What do we do? Your baby. You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hansa, where are you going? Track that child down. So that was Hansa, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. <laughs> All right. Watch the children, Jill. There you are, you're cornered. Shit. <laughs> cornered. <laughs> oh. Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not- Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. Who is this young looking that Sid? Brute. You're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. Fuck! It's that guard Fuck. from Bocklad! Kill him! Kill them all! And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Gootz. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass? You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo too. And Gates, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Uh, that's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well, eh? <laughs> you said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? <laughs> well, I'm going to be your first customer. Aww. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. <laughs> I'll do me best. All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hired us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> And you remember the plan. You're to ride all the way to Twinside. 
Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. Oh, it's a little pot. Good boy. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. <laughs> I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an it's influence men on, on my Sambrek. screen. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. <laughs> the way they're sat. <laughs> Not yet. Your Highness, <laughs> she was cross-legged. Dion's just mad spreading. <laughs> they have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. I hate her. I fucking hate her. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Oh! Have you threatened my father? <laughs> Of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel. And not with tar. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In He's consideration of think. your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. She's gonna stand on it. She is a nasty piece of work. God.
She's terrible. God, she's terrible. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. <laughs> and it's your mom, Joshua. Until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Aww. Mm. They're friends now. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. He's making friends. Dion Cakes, stop talking about his ass. Not with his boyfriend My in the prince, room. God damn. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? <sighs> I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. And this is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death. And the empire yes! restored. Yeah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dion. Dion. <laughs> Why would you love me? I'm about to probably experience something really sad. It's so pretty. The crystals. Hey, what do you think you're playing at? <laughs> Typical night out in the UK be like <laughs> Is that <a> fucking wolf? <laughs> One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbour is empty. And half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. Hmm, <laughs> scheming. I'll send a Stolas then. What is it, boy? Oh. <gasps> it's the little medicine Guga. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle! The... How high up are you? How did Toggle... Toggle's this a way. very talented puppy. Oh! Do that! Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm Clive. That was definitely a dragoon. A civil war. Definitely a dragoon. Where am I going? 
I can make it. Ugh! 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 Let me back up. I can do it. Oh. What are the men and women in the market did? The evacuation is complete, Captain. Good. And all that remains, we throw the protector. I want. I support this. Wait, I support their cause. Yes. So true. I'm trying to think of my favorite sewer section in a game, like a uh, Final Fantasy game. I'll have to admit, it's definitely not eight. Eight hurt my brain. And just remembering it makes me feel ill. I would have to say it's probably seven remake. Ah, oh, a good lift. I thought he said a goots lift. <laughs> Okay, show off. How did they do that? How did it... Okay. I have... I have Disney's. <laughs> completely wasted that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah! Right. Yeah, the timing though. Yeah, I guess. This reminds me of the like the castle in um Resi 4 remake. Enemies on the rampart! Kill them! Not if I kill you first. Oh god. Oh the fly! I nailed that. I killed him by clapping. I'm so talented. <laughs> Can you see him anywhere? Dragon. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh. oh shit. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? What the hell is it doing up there? Oh! Oh! That's Bahamut. Oh, that's so cool.
kindness. Don't do this. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Uh, something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda. But I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Oh! He just... He just... He just became... Be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. We're getting close. Fleshy version of, uh, like, like you know, like the dragoons. It's they're getting Ooh. stronger. Creepy. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on: the heart. Quiet. The 
there's someone up there. Okay, we're going stealth mode. Oh my gosh. Imagine if it's a... <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, wait. Is someone there? Oh! It is! Mother. Ah! It's you. What happened to you? He, he tried to take him from me. Oh my boy. My darling, darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? <laughs> Why, Mother? <laughs> Why did you betray us all? You have no right! There's a dog popping off right now. <gasps> oh, fuck her up. Fuck her up, Jill. Answer him. Oh. We took you Toggle, in, savage. Up. Show some respect for those who raised you. Oh! <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! <laughs> Bounced off his boob! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it! The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors! How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua, my darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Shit. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. Where's my quick time event? She needs to die. I need to fail it. She <laughs> oh god. <gasps> Family reunion! Yeah! <laughs> and family Joshua. reunion! Wake up! I'm a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are
one. What? Face the consequences. <gasps> this is the new. It is. It's fucking sick. No, they're playing the Phoenix music. They're playing the music. Do we play this? Oh, please let me play. Please. Oh my god. Please. Don't do anything. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I found it. Those things are growing in more ether than I've ever seen. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Joshua, you're in a situation. No. No, 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 not like this. I can't. I'm sure. Oh! Oh wait, what's your, what's your 
close again. <laughs> Come on, Josh, you already got it. <laughs> Oops. I'm good. I'm good at this game. This one. I'm I'm getting behind you. If you're sure. I'm behind you. Watch, watch this, watch this, Joshua, watch this, Joshua, watch this, Joshua. <laughs> Triple coil, not coils, oh my god. Sweating. That comes hard. That's so good. Wow. Family bonding. I just turned to have a drink and I just have all these. I just have all these salt and pepper grinders. Like I don't I don't have a, a drink with me anymore. Don't ask why I have all these. <laughs> don't ask. Dion, please, you're too sexy. Please stop. I don't want to fight. No. This is drinking me. We have to stop him. Holy fuck! If we become one, this will be enough. We can 
doing, Clive? We can. We will. Together. This just keeps going. This is insane. Embodying Ifrit Risen. How is this real? This is insane. How can we hope to match such power? By trusting in our own. The power of uh, sibling bonding. Quite literally. Oh, yes! <laughs> That one's so cool. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> I had a I had a hair in my mouth as well. That's like neck and neck with the Titan fight with me. <gasps> and you got to do it with Joshua. Oh, 
Oh, that's a proper head wound there. He bumped his head. <laughs> wow, it's like a round reborn. Is it? Oh. All that damage and he gets a head wound. Oh, why didn't she die through the whole thing? Why? Oh. Joshua! Oh. Clive! My brother. Oh. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. I never dared hope that I would see this day. Reunited at last. Jill. I knew he was an evil little shit. I knew it. This <laughs> for my father. Oh! Not like him. Uh. It is done. <laughs> the demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Thank God. Father. Oh. No! <laughs> He's having a nap. The Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. He's a good bean. We have to save him. <laughs> I owe him a debt. He has a boo-boo on his head. We have to kiss it Fine. better. Oh shit. <gasps> Yoink! <laughs> Time for some Bahamut powers. Me when I get period pains. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Dion. By the light! Dion. Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the Dragoons at once! Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. 
I am here to save you, father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. T. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. <laughs> A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! Oh, oh. Tion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! No one's moving. <laughs> For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Oh. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build, Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? He's speaking. You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. Oh, God. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Shut up. Gods! Gods! Oh. Father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long, but you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kinslayer. You cannot stay here, mother. No, eh, she Come. can. No. Take my hand. Nah, she, she can stay. Oh my god, where's my quick time event, please? She's gone crazy. Oh. This is all just a dream, just a bad dream. Oh. You will not take me, Shadow. 
You will not take me! Oh! Oh! Oh, she failed the quick time. It was all just a bad dream. <sighs> Are they all riding on the phoenix? <laughs> if it is consciousness that weaves your wills together. Whoa. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Majesty. Hello? Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. That means sex. Yes. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Ooh. Wait. There's some big rippers <laughs> off. What's going on? Gifted the power of icons, Ooh. yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. I don't want to see. Of trust, of respect, of love. Oh, good, it Only locked out. <laughs> by primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. Shall be done, Master. My will is yours.
He's a big old baby man's. How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Tyre says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. <laughs> Things fall apart. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like the name of that chapter. I don't like it. <laughs> oh no. Oh fuck. Svarog! Uh oh. Oh. Founder. This beast isn't to be trifled with. It's level 50! That's level 50. Okay. Game. Please, I'm just a little guy. Forgive me. Oh! <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny, actually? This would be so- but it'd be so much editing for me to do. Wait. Okay. Here's how to make yourself a floating head. Step one. You need a background. Here is the background. Step two. Um, uh, sit in the chair. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this into the video, but... Step three. Um, chroma key. And I should now be a floating head. It depends on if I'm lazy or not in the editing. We'll see. Oh! I expect the disclaimer. I was indeed lazy. We'll see. I haven't been half asking my editing. Goots. Oh, I didn't have to run to find him. Oh. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! Fuck him up, Goots! Stop spreading them horrible lies about yeah. Nan! He's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Get his Goots. ass. No. Goots, yes! Enough, all of you! Oh, fuck. You're here. It was all your fault! Oh my god, Goots, get him. And get his ass. I'll finally pay for what you did to me! Get his ass, Goots! Oh. Goots, you... <laughs> if you want a piece of Nan, uh. you'll have to go through me. <laughs> Fuck. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. 
Wise words, Sam. Wise words. And now it's time to collect. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. <laughs> You've attracted bad quite ass. enough attention already. <laughs> Ta-ra, Clive. Ta-da. My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. Big ass fucking plane. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Hmm. Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Barnabasy. Ah, oh, rip through the There's a lot of old men again. Oh. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame. Blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The Rome teeters on the brink. Here, here. You can. Hello. Distinguished members of the council. 
You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! No, oh, they had more guards, okay. Well, that's not gonna work, Enough. is it? that out of nowhere. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, Your Majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the Prince's light cannot have sated you. What was... What was the point? What was the point of them going in there and just... Killing everyone. Just for, for just for the fun? The lols? Okay, he's Odin. I'll let him do it. Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. By the flames. Phoenix Gate. Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient even. Naught's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. <laughs> and gods don't like to be disobeyed. <laughs> no, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. <laughs> Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty. Remember. <laughs> if... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Give a little forehead smooch. A little on the forehead. Oh. Sweet. Farewell, my lord. My lady. Mm. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. <laughs> it's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Not the little cough animation. God damn it. That was so... Oh such soft affection it's oh, it's sweet the free men are still holding their own then do we have any idea where Gavin and the others might be there's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Lucky! Oh, they look amazing. Everyone that loves Clive's boobs is like white knuckling right now. Like, I call it a best titties! Jill is so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at them staring in the back. They're like, we're third wheeling. They're on a date. <laughs> Excellent. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, that was clutch. Okay. <laughs> oh! to be trifled with. It landed on Joshua. Oh, he's fine. I'm not stalling anymore. You can't you can't say I'm stalling now. Sounds like thunder. <laughs> wow, you got the magic words right. You're late. <laughs> I was starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. Aww, a bro I seem to hug. recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? <laughs> Nothing oh. we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Oh. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, we have yes. a sexy boy with us now. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Mm. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Oh! Hey! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I need to turn my fan on. <laughs> Wowzer! <laughs> yeah, this is what my I was thinking. Boy. This is what Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Ultimus doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people. Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. 
and quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? <laughs> Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. Hell yeah. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? She's so I think talented. I can manage that. I'll keep him safe. <laughs> Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's <laughs> Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> that gave me a hot flush. <laughs> Joshua Rizfield, am I right? God damn. You've caused quite <gasps> the commotion. <gasps> but then I would expect no less from you. Mythos. You're in armor. You look great. I shouldn't say dead. that. The enemy. You look. I don't <coughs> believe we've been introduced. Sexy. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Oh, God. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. I hope we're about to fight him as a horse. I mean, they him as a pure. horse. That'd be cool. They are divine. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. We've been killing the villagers. You pay for what you've done. As you wish. Near I confess <laughs> I have been very much looking forward to this. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Oh. I am the lady of House Harbor. And you will yield! Or I was right. <laughs> Not all the chat going, he's hot. <laughs> Take off the helmet, coward. Where are you going? Stop doing that. <laughs> Fight me as a horse, you coward. Wait, he's wearing he's wearing metal that conducts electricity. <laughs> Big brain. Huge brain. <laughs> he sounds like an angry cat. <laughs> Where are you? You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. <laughs> it is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? Are you gonna become from a horse? My knees, Lord Sarnay. Gungnir. Oh, that's Watch not closely, a horse. Mythos. I'm afraid. Oh! Yes! Yes! Can that one shot me? <gasps> I don't wanna find out. Vessel is strong. No, you're too sexy. Uh -huh. My leash. No. No. We killed Odin's horse. Oh fuck! How are we gonna explain that to him? I don't even. Need, I don't even know if he's Boy. the horse yet. <laughs> I just called him right. a horse. As are you, I see. <laughs> Well, I mean, he has the name, so, you yeah, know. Yeah, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. 
I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Didn't Leaving kill so soon, Mythos. Oh God! Hello, Odin. It's the king. It's Barnabasy. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, warden of Ash and king of Walud. Get back. Hey, about your horse. I'm sorry. <laughs> about it. Uh... Oh, he's good with that. But mine's bigger. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. Souls reference. <laughs> Sorry. Power beyond reckoning, and they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. No! No! God. Will he be all right? Fucking hope so. The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. 
But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. Putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You lot mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Hmm. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. <laughs> what of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. No! What do you mean? <laughs> she kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. I it's swear, right, if, if they've killed Jilly Bean, no. Jill is fine. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> the ether of her icon endures. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Tears in my eyes. No. We can be certain she is alive. Oh, thank God. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril Engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? <sighs> well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. Hmm. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. This game, this game. This game is so much. There's like so much. Like this game. This game builds up so much and then it's it's like BAM! 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 All at once. I can't! <laughs> and then you put all the pieces together and it's like BAM! 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 <laughs> this game is like crashing waves, yeah. And and you and and then you realize that you can't swim. No wonder I like doing the side quest so much. <laughs> I'm like, please, please don't hurt me. The main storyline just staring me down. What? I'm gonna have loads of side quests. We gotta save Jill. No. What is it today, lady? It better not be Clive's brother. I swear. Master Sid, have you seen His Highness the Prince? Oh, we were to dine together, or so I was going to suggest. Not dear. Before he vanished. 
that is. Oh dear. I suppose now I'll just have to ask the bard. <laughs> <laughs> Run away, Dion. Run far away. What? I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Miz. Oh, what if she made it? What's this tucked inside it? Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> oh. Mid a doll. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I record your opus, daughter's dearest, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on the last ride. Good luck. He loved her. Oh. Sid's best invention. Her. Oh, that sounds promising. It was her. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. <laughs> Unless you mean the orchestrion. <laughs> she couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? Oh. It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. I didn't break it. <laughs> well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Mm. Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestron. <sighs> What's wrong with it? Oh, it's the music. Broken, except when it isn't. Ah. <laughs> See? And you had nothing to do That's with cool. this. Nope, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. <laughs> we press all the buttons. Like uh, this. Don't do it again. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Crossing his arms. Ah, uh, I see. See? <laughs> I do see. All too well. All right, out of the way. <laughs> Dad's here to fix the problem. <laughs> okay. <sighs> he just kicks it. <sighs> Something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? I didn't break anything. No, I mean, yeah, yes. <laughs> God. There. How about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it. <laughs> he oh. more than fixed it. It's yeah. playing Sid's New music. music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid, Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Hmm. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. <laughs> Dion yeah, left. Yeah, we, we, we noticed Unless that. Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. <laughs> he did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. <laughs> Should we go after him? No. He commandeered a dinghy. We're not the prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. 
I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? <laughs> uh, ask me when I get back. <laughs> Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? <laughs> I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Oh, no! No! The, the, no! The, oh, no! Hold on, Jelly Bean. Paul said it was an army of a cash. Just a few side quests. Just a couple. <sighs> Clive? My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ine is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. <laughs> this is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything <laughs> like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Oh. Aww. I love her. She's great. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Oh, I Only mean, what uh, the bards sing. Oh. Sorry. That he sailed to ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Oh. Ah. Mid! Company! We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! Bollocks! <laughs> All hands! Man your stations! <laughs> Poor Dougal. Shit. Everyone with me? Boys night! Yeah! Here they come! <laughs> they sound like modern warfare zombies. <laughs> Mid needs every moment we can give her! Oh! Joshua! Too slow. Absolutely flying! Did he hit the Yogi Smokey? God damn it. That was easy enough. Alright, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. <laughs> you heard the captain. <laughs> Cutie. Clive. Yay? But I thought he was 
Looks to you, uh, um, confounded. Then it is as I feared. Oh. Uh, Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. I told you he's a fucking horse. Oh! There's a lot of horses. That is a lot of. Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? <laughs> No! Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? <laughs> oh, follow me! Way anchor! <laughs> God damn it. Engine's dead slow ahead! <sighs> Have care, my friends. Tis not blood that runs through an edge's veins. Okay. These foes will not fall easily. Eh. But they will fall. Like oaks before Yippee! a woodpecker. Good thing I brought one! <laughs> As long as it takes. No! You <laughs> hey, let's just leave. Oh, oh, you can actually leave. Ow. In your own time, Clive. <laughs> right, grab for it. <laughs> Yeah. Be for brave, be for Byron. Funny if he just fell in. No, it wouldn't be funny. Now, mate! Ah, engine fire! What? Oh, he's. How is he hanging on? Hey! Oh God. Stay away from her. What do you want? Get a job! Oh no. That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Now back to your stations! Yes, ma'am. Every ma male spent treading water puts another leak between us and the galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine? <laughs> <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive. The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. Hmm. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. 
A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandelar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. <laughs> and I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. <laughs> when next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 <sighs> Do keep up, my boy. <laughs> <sighs> well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? <laughs> we would never hear the end of it. Sweet. Hmm, I love Uncle Byron. He's so cool. Oh, fuck. Girl, what are you doing? Girl. Girl, no. Break of mercy. Such devastation. This was never my intention moment. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All this it <sighs> What have I done? It's the Guga. Oh. Such a cool looking ship. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Oh. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Oh shit. Spotted. We're coming, Jilly Bean. We're coming. And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! I love Mid. She's played so much Sea of Thieves. She's just like me. <laughs> Let's see what this girl can do. Cap Captain! <laughs> it, it, yeah? <laughs> Got a glam on now. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Then, there 
is naught my blade cannot sever. Here I can. <laughs> we saved Jelly Beach. Stand still. Oh, uh, you're gonna destroy her ship. Stop. Phoenix. Both of you. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Because it's a nice ship. Do you wanna burn it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Where did your horse come from? Oh, I thought we killed your horse. Does he have like thousands of hornets? Oh. hornets? Horses, I can't anyway, sorry.
Yep. They're fine. They're fine. Can you go on? I think so. God. But to where? Joshua, the Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Barnabas, this is not how you make friends. He just wants to make friends. <laughs> this is not how you do it. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. She doesn't even have a sword. Oh! Oh! No! Oh my god, no! Shut the fuck up! This isn't happening. We don't have to do this! This isn't happening, oh, no. But we do. It's ah! to remind you of your duty. Ah! No, I'm too scared. I don't want to do this. In the short time since our last meeting, you have and grown much. Yet as a vessel, I fear my yeah. lord will still fight. Wait, I'm not hurting him. Oh! Oh, I am. I am. I have seen I refuse. There are I refuse. Come on. No, no, no. Ah! No! No, I can't do it. The mantle you've been given. And thus is the light of hope severed. Did I lose? You would yield so soon. Never. Uh, life. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Stop. Do you not see? 
Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations. Oh, so nice of them. And <laughs> shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. Oh, God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Dear God. Salvation! And abandon everything we hold dear! We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods! With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. We can take Ash it. Is not far. We can take the water. I can I freeze a path. Oh. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look, look back! Not 
the Clive L popping up on my screen, huh? Congrats, you suck. <laughs> oh, Jelly Bean. No. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? Monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself? I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. I see now the 
They are all a part of me. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. I'm like dribbling out of my nose. That's so pure. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I was just in awe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope Toggle wasn't watching that. Oh my god. <laughs> Glad I didn't wear mascara today. Oh, I love them. Oh. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. She had her hands on his waist. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Oh. When? When will it be my turn? <laughs> that was such a good scene. I was just in. I was speechless. I couldn't talk. Don't get me wrong, I was screaming inside. My thoughts? That was the, one of the best scenes in the game. 
I don't care if that was about sexy time. That was about, I almost saw that as like wedding vows, you know? This, this oath to one another, body and soul. And it's the reverse of the positions of how Jill always talked about being this monster and like not human and, and having killed people. And to see Clive talk like that and for her to, to comfort him in that time, it's just like, they get each other. And it is in such a just in such a pure way. Two broken souls to one beautiful soul combined after years of trauma, vulnerability, hardship. Thanks for the connection. Yeah. 